Well, that is a great reminder that we are less than a month away from getting back to those purple and gray stripes over in Conway, Arkansas. It is a team for Coach Campbell that returns 14 starters from last year, five on offense, seven on defense. Again, they go seven and two in the South and last year tied with Sam Houston State. Can't get that bid into the postseason. They'll try to get back on track this year and again contend for yet another Southland Conference championship perhaps. Their season opener, also their conference opener, will be the first time that HBU travels to Conway. That will be on September 1st, a Thursday night affair on the American Sports Network. Lincoln Rose welcoming you back here inside LaBerge Resort as I'm joined by two senior wide receivers in both Desmond Smith and Jatavius Wilson, both a couple of preseason all-conference selections. Uh, Jatavius, you were actually three times this year on the all-conference list, talking about receiver, returner, all-purpose. What should it tell us and fans back in Conway that coach brought two wide receivers to town here for media day and this offense? Um, you can look forward to us this year, um, moving the ball up and down the field. The, um, the big thing is we're going to do this year, we're going to finish. Um, we struggled a little bit last year, but this year we came, we came together. The offseason been kind of good. We stayed after, even after workouts, did extra. Um, we're just really trying to finish this year. Um, opening three uh, home games back to back is, is really tells us a lot to uh, get our legs back on us, get our fans to going. And we're just, gonna, we're just ready to get everything rolling. You know, Hayden Hildebrand is loving it that there are a couple of senior wide receivers that he'll get to line up with one more time. What he won't have, Desmond, is five offensive linemen that graduated last year after their senior campaigns. What's, what's this new line going to look like? And has, has that been a concern at all here in the offseason? I wouldn't say it's a concern at all. We have uh, five new or four new hungry people. Uh, ready to assume the roles. We have Stockton Mallet returning a great offensive line. He's going to be the anchor for uh, our whole offense pretty much, just starting the ball off and everything. Uh, you have Gilberto Garcia, who has been here for three years, and he's ready to assume his role as a, a contention player for, for us. And then you have Cade and uh, Horton, who also are ready to get things rolling. Desmond, you all didn't have a home game on the stripes until October 3rd last year. This year, you have three straight home games to start the year. You all were able to get momentum once you got to home last year, a great run in the conference play and a great finish overall. But uh, what do you hope uh, an early start at home will be able to do for you this season? Uh, a powder keg of momentum going into the season. Uh, we start off with a three uh, tough schedule at home, but the fact that it is at home, we believe that we can uh, build a whole bunch of momentum getting ready for our FBS game at Arkansas State and then into the rest of the season. So three home games to start the season for the Bears. In fact, their first four games are all within the state of Arkansas. A little bit more on that as we toss it over to Camity and head coach Steve Campbell. Thanks, Lincoln. Like you said, I'm with Coach Campbell. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate well, it. Thank you, Camity. Great to be here. You know, one of the things that I thought is absolutely crazy is that you have never had a losing season which is pretty nuts. And I'm sure you want to keep that tradition alive going into your third season at Central Arkansas. Uh, do you feel pretty comfortable with the system that you've implemented there? Yeah, uh, you know, we're going into our third year of, of this system. And, uh, you know, the guys that the guys that are our older guys have now played in it uh, for two years and going into year three. So I think we're a lot further along with our system, both offensively and defensively. And uh, I like the system where we're at. Uh, again, we, I don't ever think about having a, a, a losing season. I don't ever, uh, our goals of course are to, you know, to, to win a championship. And uh, the guys have, have worked uh, really hard towards that, that end. And, uh, and the thing I like is we are further along with our system so that we can tweak it and and, and, and gear it more towards what our what our abilities are. The thing, oh, what can Jatavius do well? What can Desmond do well defensively? What do our guys do well? And how can we tweak what we already know to put those guys in the best spot to make plays? Well, you're all obviously bringing back a lot of key players, and we have 14 starters coming back, but you are filling a big hole. Jonathan Woodard won't be there. Yeah. How do you see yourself filling that gap? You know, whenever you lose a Jonathan Woodard, you know, it's hard to ever replace. You don't just 
move him out and move somebody in and you have the exact same thing. But what I do like, you know, Cardell Best is a good player in his own right. The guy brings a, a lot of athleticism and a lot of uh, – he, he's got a lot of juice. So I, I like Cardell, Be- uh, Cardell Best. Uh, James Pope coming rushing off the edge. Pope uh, is a heck of a football player. And then you, you throw in Chris Chambers, who we've moved from predominantly outside linebacker to more of a defensive end. Uh, we had a hard time, and a lot of people had a hard time blocking him at last fall whenever we had him at that spot. And then we had a hard time blocking him in the spring coming off the edge. So I don't know if you replace Woodard with, with one guy, but I, I do like Cardell Best. I love Chris Chambers. Uh, James Pope's a great player. Uh, you had knots a year older. Tolliver's a year older. Partee's a year older. I like our defensive line. You got a lot of names to throw out there. It's nice to hear. It's a good problem yeah. to have all it, those it names. Is. Let's talk about your schedule really quickly. We heard you mention, Lincoln mentioned just a little bit ago, you have three home games to start off off the year. Last year, you didn't see a home game until October. How's that going to change things up for you guys? You know, you kind of approach it the same way. You Each week, whether you're at home, on the road, whether it's conference game night, you, you put all your, your, your eggs into one basket each and every week, and, and that's the way you play it out. But I do like the way that, you know, with, with three straight home games, it gives you a chance to build momentum early. And and uh, and, and we've got a young football team. We've got some, some older guys that have made a lot of plays, but, you know, Horton hadn't played a whole lot. He'll be, uh, should be our starting center. Uh, Mike Parton behind him is pushing, gonna be a heck of a football player. Uh, like I say, Gilberto and, and uh, Curtis Parker have not played a whole lot. But if we could get some, some momentum early, uh, all that does is build confidence and, you, and get, that, get the ball rolling. And, and, and I think uh, with the three home games early, it gives us a chance to, to, to as Desmond said, be, get a, build a powder keg early and uh, come out fast and, let, and let's build on that.